What did Jesus think about the Old Testament? Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. You know, in the Gospel of Luke, there's a story recorded that's not recorded anywhere else. It's the story of the, of the two disciples walking on the road to Emmaus. Jesus starts to walk with them, and they're kept from recognizing him. And they start talking about the things that have happened in Jerusalem. And that these two disciples on the road to Emmaus say, talk about this great teacher that they had. They thought he would redeem Israel. and But the, but the authorities had him killed, and now our women are telling him that he's been raised from the dead. That whole narrative, it's a beautiful story to read. But we discover something in two verses in Luke chapter 24 about what Jesus actually thinks about the Old Testament, and it's powerful and it's good, and I want to break it down for you. He said to them, starting in verse 25, he said to them, how foolish you are not to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Wow, that's quite a statement. And it's quite a statement from Jesus. He is, he is um, criticizing them for refusing to believe. That's what the whole Gospel of John is about. Believing, deciding, making the decision to follow Jesus, that he is who he claimed to be. But it's so interesting how he says not to believe all that the prophets have spoken. In the great history of Israel, in the Jewish history of the people of God, going all the way back to Genesis, there was these, this prophetic voice that looked forward to the day when a Messiah would come. Isaiah 53, for example, Jeremiah 23, talking about the righteous branch, and, and the Isaiah 9, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. And, and here's Jesus after the resurrection, the resurrected Christ saying, how foolish you are not to believe all that the prophets have spoken. And there's even an exclamation point there. And then he just flatly, clearly declares, did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and enter into his glory? That's a fair question. It's a good question. And it's a question that's appropriate to anybody that had read their Old Testament and paid attention to what the prophets said. I mean, they prophesied, sure, that Israel would go away in the exile of 722 and then, then Judah in 586, but they also prophesied about a return. And like Jeremiah prophesied about that righteous branch, right? And Isaiah, the root of Jesse, right? So beautiful, so wonderful. And here is Jesus saying, yeah, how in the world could you not believe all that the prophets have spoken? And then Luke tells us this amazing thing. It just thrills my soul. He says, in beginning with Moses, Moses was 1,500 years before Jesus. Many uh, conservative scholars believe that the Exodus took place in 1445 BC. And Jesus is talking to these disciples that have refused to believe all that the prophets have spoken and He's going to correct it. He's going to straighten it up because what Jesus is telling them, he is also telling us that the Old Testament is there to support the, the claims of the risen Christ in the New Testament to teach why he had to come. And it's so great that Jesus is referencing all this. And he says, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, Jonah, good night. Oh my goodness, all the prophets, beginning with Moses and all the prophets. Look what Luke says next. He explained to them, to these disciples, he explained to them, what was said in all the scriptures. Glory. Jesus referring to the Old Testament as scripture. He explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. 
wow, here's the resurrected Christ. Here's the risen Lord rebuking these disciples, certainly at least criticizing them for refusing to believe all that the prophets have spoken. And did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and enter into his glory? Like, duh, isn't it obvious? Right? From Isaiah 53, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes were healed. Woo! Oh, let me tell you something. Beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Now, I have to tell you, I teach Old Testament literature, and I can tell you this, the very first day, I point them to the, these two verses. Because my point is simply, if it was important to Jesus about the Old Testament, why on earth wouldn't it be important to us as well, as it points to and looks forward to the Messiah that comes in the New Testament, bringing the grace of God and the mercy of the Lord into plain view for whosoever would believe. Thanks for watching Bible on the Go, Dr. Dan. If you like these videos, the best thing you can do is hit that button called subscribe. You only have to do it once and it doesn't cost a single thing. <laughs>